In this video from tvtrade.ie we're basically going to show you how you can tune in your Sagem or Sagecom Freesat HD receiver. Okay, So the first thing to note before you do any of this is you have to have your satellite cable plugged into the uh, back of the receiver and it connected to um, your satellite dish, you know, i.e. a sky dish, something like this. Okay, So when you turn the box on then you'll be faced with this first time installation screen. So the first thing to do is simply press the OK button. So what it does is, and why you need that cable plugged in, is that it actually tries to detect if there's a valid FreeSat signal coming in. So it takes about 15 or 20 seconds and they'll come back and either tell you it can't detect this, uh, the FreeSat signal or it can. So you can see there the FreeSat detection has been correctly done. So, you know, we're, uh, that's the first step. So the next thing then is to enter your postcode. Now the reason you enter a postcode, this will be a UK postcode, is that FreeSat have set it up that when you enter a postcode it will give you basically the regional variations of them channels uh, based on that postcode. So what most people would be used to in Ireland is you know BBC Northern Ireland or UTV things like that so what most people in Ireland are going to want to use is a Northern Irish postcode and for this what we use is the number buttons on the remote control. If you look at them you'll see there's letters above them and it's much like a mobile you know an old type mobile phone setup where you use the number buttons you press them a couple of times to get different letters and stuff like that. So for Northern Ireland, what we're going to use is we're just going to use a Belfast postcode. So what we're going to enter is B T one one A, and we're just waiting for the cursor to appear again, and A. Okay, so we'll press OK, and it'll check and see if it's a valid postcode. So it comes back and says our postcode is valid, press OK for the next step, so that's what we'll do. So the next step then is just enter some general settings, uh, you know, based on your viewing preferences. So most people want English 16, 9 as the TV screen will be, you know, will be fairly standard on uh, modern TVs. You can change your HDMI resolution if you want, that's up to yourself. But the key point about this actual uh, step here is you can't go any further unless you enter a parental code, okay? So these parental codes could be used maybe to lock out particular aspects of the um, of the menu system, or perhaps even um, you know block certain channels and stuff like this. So you can't use zero 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 zero. So for argument's sake, I'm just going to enter two 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 two, and enter it again two 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 two. So obviously remember your code whenever you enter it because you could lock yourself out too. So we're going to press OK for the next step. It's just doing its scan here and it'll give you a little progress bar as it goes along. So it should actually be a relatively uh, quick process. So you can see it there flying through. So 70 odd percent, 80 percent already. So you can see there's found 121, 130 odd, 140 TV channels. You know, and um, we're almost there. So it says the installation is complete and we'll press OK to go to TV. And there you have it. Uh, that's basically it, how you tune in the FreeSat channels on your Sagem or Sagecom FreeSat HD receiver.